Welcome to EC Electronics. This is a video on the very famous Thevenin's theorem. So in this video, we'll try to simplify this topic, which is very difficult for many of the students. Okay, so what is actually Thevenin's theorem? Thevenin's theorem states that any linear two terminal circuit or network can be replaced with the help of a voltage source and connecting in series with a resistor. And the voltage source is named as VTH or Thevenin's voltage and the resistor is named as RTH or Thevenin's resistor. Consider that there is a two terminal linear network. So this two terminal linear network is connected to a load. Okay. So this load is having some current and there is some voltage across this load and this two terminal network. Now we can replace this two terminal network with the help of, that is I'm going to replace this two terminal network with the help of a voltage source named as VTH that is Thevenin's voltage. And connecting its series with the resistor that is RTH or Thevenin's resistor or resistance value. So this is happening in Thevenin's theorem. That is we have replaced that linear two terminal circuit or network with the help of these two elements that is Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance. And we need to find the value of this voltage and resistance of the circuit to replace it. Okay, so this is actually the Thevenin's theorem. Now, there is a question given here. We are going to solve this question using the Thevenin's theorem. So, in the question, we have given a circuit and there is a resistor which is having 1 ohm value and we need to find the value of current I flowing through the resistor using the Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so if you see this, this is a two-terminal linear circuit and this is connected to a load of 1 ohm. Okay. So we need to apply the Thevenin's theorem. So we can replace this portion. That is this portion. We can replace by a voltage source and a series resistance. Okay. So that was the Thevenin's theorem application. Now we are going to do this actually. Okay. So I am going to take this two terminals with name A and B. Okay, so in order to actually uh, simplify this, we have to think that this is a open connection. So we have, we are going to open this circuit and this is the circuit we have to, we have to actually replace. There is a 1 ohm load here, but we have actually removed it in order to simplify this circuit. Okay, so this is how we have to do it. Now, if you see this circuit, we have to make a voltage source from this. That is, we have to find the equivalent voltage and the equivalent resistance of this circuit so that we, we can replace it. Okay, so how to find the equivalent resistance or the RTH? We can, re, we can uh, find the equivalent resistance of this circuit by removing this current source and this voltage source right so if you remove this two sources that is the current source and the voltage source then the circuit will be having only resistance and if we apply the resistance theorems that is series and parallel theorems and simplify it we will get a equivalent resistance value right so that is our RTH or Thevenin's resistance and we have to find the equivalent voltage so what is the equivalent voltage? We have talked about the equivalent resistance. Now what is equivalent Thevenin's equivalent voltage? So the Thevenin's equivalent voltage is actually the voltage present in between these two terminals that is A and B. So that voltage is equal to the voltage present across this 4 ohm resistance. Okay. So that will be our VTH. So what I am going to do is first I am going to find the equivalent voltage then I will be finding the equivalent resistance. Okay. So how can we find the equivalent voltage? So in the previous class, we have discussed about nodal analysis. That is how to apply nodal analysis to find the 
voltage present in it in various nodes okay so we have discussed that in detail so in order to find the equivalent voltage or the voltage across this 4 ohm which is our equivalent voltage or vth i'm going to apply nodal analysis i'm going to consider two nodes here this is my first node node 1 and this is my second node which is node 2 okay i'm just calling it by names node 1 and node 2 and i'm going to assume that the voltage present in first node or node 1 is v1 and the voltage present in this node is v2 okay now i need to apply Kirchhoff Kirchhoff current law in these two nodes that is node 1 and node 2 and before that i need to actually find the directions of current right so let us see that first so this is the voltage source here this is a positive terminal so the current is flowing from positive terminal to the negative terminal so if you are not familiar with nodal analysis please do watch that video i have explained it in very detail and very simple explanation how to apply nodal analysis so anyway the current is uh, flowing from the positive terminal to the negative terminal so the current is flowing in this direction so for this branch the current is flowing towards this node one now there is a current source the arrow is given towards up so the current is flowing towards node one so this current is flowing towards this node this current is flowing towards this node so how will be the direction of current through this six ohm it will be towards right because this is coming uh, towards node and this is coming towards node means the third one will be going out of the node so that is the culture of current law so the current is flowing out of this node and for the so we have obtained the current directions for all the branches connected to node 1 now let us talk about the node 2 here this current is coming towards the node and here v2 is present now this is ground so the current will be flowing from v2 to ground so this is ground so the current will be flowing v2 to ground so that is the direction of currents in node 2 now we have all the directions of node 1 and node 2 so we can apply Kirchhoff volt which of current law for node 1 and node 2 or we can perform nodal analysis i'm going to write the nodal equation for my node 1 first so what is the equation so since the current is flowing from this to that is 12 volt to v1 the equation will be 12 minus v1 by 6 now again the current is flowing towards the node 1 so plus 2 ampere now here the current is flowing out of the node so minus from this direction to this direction so v1 minus v2 by 6 is equal to 0 so this is the equation that is a Kirchhoff current law application for the node 1 now i am going to apply node and analysis for node 2 so for node 2 there are only two currents so one current is coming from v1 to v2 that is in this direction so v1 minus v2 by 6 then this current is flowing towards the ground or in this direction so v2 minus 0 by 4 or since the current is flowing out of the node it is a negative minus v2 by 4 is equal to 0 okay so v1 minus v2 by 6 minus v2 by 4 is equal to 0. So these are the two equations for node 1 and node 2. Now let us try to simplify this. Okay. So v1 minus v2 by 6 you can write is equal to v2 by 4. So just cross multiply. So we will get 4 into v1 minus v2 is equal to 6 v2 right okay so 4 I'm, I'm just simplifying this equation so 4 v1 minus 4 v2 is equal to 6 v2 so 4 v1 is equal to 4 i'm taking this 4 to that side so 4 plus 6 is 10 so 10 v2 write it above because it is not able to see 
So it is 4v1. If you simplify this equation, you will get 4v1 is equal to 10v2. Or you can write v1 is equal to 10v2 by 4. So 10 by 4 is 5 by 2. So 5 by 2v2. So this is the relation we are obtaining from our equation for node 2. Okay, so I am just removing this node 2 equation to simplify my node 1 equation. I am just going to find the values of v1 and v2 now. Okay, so v1 is 5 by 2, v2 we have obtained. So, now taking the LCM, it is 6, so it is, I'm, now I am going to simplify my first equation or the node 1 equation. So, so here the LCM is 6, 12 minus v1 plus multiply with 6, 12 minus v1 minus v2 is equal to 0. So again, 12 minus v1 plus 12. So 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 minus v1. Now taking this minus 2 inside the bracket, minus v1 plus v2. So 24 minus v1 minus v1 plus v2. So 2v1, that is minus 2v1 plus v2 is equal to 0. So this is the equation. We have the equation for v1 as 5 by 2v2. So substitute v1 as 5 by 2v2. So into 5 by 2 v2 plus v2. So this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So minus, we will get minus v2 plus v2. It will be minus 4 v2. So 24 minus 4 v2 is equal to 0. Or you can write 24 is equal to 4 v2. Or what will be the value of v2? v2 is equal to 24 by 4 is 6. 6 volt. So we will get the value of v2 as 6 volt. Anyway the simplification is mathematics right. So if you simplify the two equations for node 1 and node 2 you will get v2 as 6 volt. Now if you know v2 what will be the value of v1? We know that v1 is 5 by 2 into v2 right. 5 by 2 into 6. So into 3. So V1 will be equal to 15 volt. So now after simplifying this we have obtained I'm just dropping all this. So we have obtained V1 is equal to 15 volt and V2 is equal to 6 volt. Okay. So this much you will obtain. Now let us look at uh, the so actually we need what? We need the voltage across the 4 ohm, right? So what is the voltage across the 4 ohm? It is V2 itself, right? Because this is ground, this is V2. So the voltage across this V2, sorry, this 4 ohm will be your V2 itself, right? So the voltage across the 4 ohm is actually our permanence equivalent voltage. So V4 is equal to VTH, which is equal to your V2. Right. So this is our Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Right. So we have obtained the Thevenin's equivalent voltage as 6 volt. So we can write V2 as VTH or Thevenin equivalent voltage. So we have obtained the Thevenin's equivalent voltage as 6 volt. Now we need to find the value of equivalent resistance. So we will do that. So we have actually obtained the Voltage part. I am going to write the value here. That is V4 is equal to V2 is equal to VTH is equal to 6 volt. This is your Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Now I am going to find the value of my equivalent resistance to connect series with this 6 volt. So how to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit? There are three resistors, right? Also, there are two sources. So as I have said earlier, we need to remove these sources to find the equivalent resistance. 
So if you remove this voltage source, it will create a closed circuit. So when a voltage source is mean removed from a branch, that will be resulting in a closed circuit. And if the current source is removed, it will create a open circuit. So this 6 ohm now connected with the next 6 ohm. And here there is a 4 ohm in parallel. So our circuit will be simplified like this if you remove all the sources. So this is a 6 ohm, this is a 6 ohm. These two 6 ohms are in series and the equivalent value will be equal to 12 ohm. 12 ohm in parallel with this, in parallel with the 4 ohm value. So what is the equivalent resistance R? TH is equal to 12 into 4 by 12 plus 4. So, 12 plus 4 is 16. So, 4 and 16, 4 and 12 is 3. So, RTS is obtained as 3 ohms. Okay. So, you have obtained the value of the Thevenin's equivalent resistance as 3 ohm. And also earlier we have obtained the voltage. Thevenin's equivalent voltage as 6 volt. Now, we can redraw this circuit. Okay. So, we have obtained the voltage source value and the resistance value. So, we can replace it according to the Thevenin's theorem. So, I am going to replace my circuit with the Thevenin's equivalent voltage and Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So, how will it be? There is a voltage source here which is having a value of 6 volt and there is a resistor with a value of 3 ohm. Now, connecting now we are back connecting our load. So we have actually removed our load initially, right? Now we can connect it back. This is our Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So this is our 1 ohm, which is the load. Now we need to find the current through this 1 ohm. So this is how you can draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So I hope it is clear till now. That is how to replace this two port linear uh, sorry, two terminal linear circuit or uh, network with the help of the voltage source and series resistance. Okay, so connecting back the load, you will get a circuit like this. This is your Thevenin's equivalent circuit. And now we need to find the current I through this load, right? So how to find it is very simple. Now the voltage source is there, two resistors are there. These two resistors are connected in series. So, the equivalent resistance is 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. So, the current I is according to Ohm's law, I is V by R. Now, V is 6. 6 by R is 3 plus 1 which is 4 which is equal to 3 by 2 ampere is your current value. Okay. So, this is how you can simplify a network using Thevenin's theorem. And find the current through the load. So the questions will be normally like this. There are more difficult questions also. We will be discussing that in later videos. Anyway, I hope that you understood how to simplify a circuit using Thevenin's theorem. If yes, please do like this video and also share this video with all your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.